Hey friends, welcome back to another children's sermon. My name is Becca. For those of you who are new here, we are glad you're here. And for those of you who are returning, it is good to be with you again. So today our children's sermon comes from the Gospel of John. So remember how the Gospels are in the New Testament. So it is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John is the last of the Gospels in the New Testament, right before um, Acts. So uh, what I'm going to do today, a little different than what we've done before, is I'm going to read you the story from our story Bible. And if you'd like to follow along, you can turn to page 386 in the World Bible. And if you don't have a World Bible, I will read it to you and you'll see the pictures. And then we're going to talk a little bit about it. All right, so today comes from John 15, and it's called Jesus the Vine. Jesus knew he wouldn't be able to stay with his disciples forever. He wanted them to understand how much he loved them. God's family is like a full vine of grapes, Jesus said. The disciple raised their eyebrows and and said what did love have to do with grapes what happens when a branch is cut from a vine jesus asked the branch can't grow answered jesus when a branch is cut when a branch is cut from a vine it can't grow fruit but what happens when branches are attached to the vine they grow lots of grapes peter said jesus nodded i am the vine you are the branches. I love you so that you can love others. Jesus looked at his disciples with love. You are my friends. I love you so much that I am willing to give up my life for you. That is the greatest love you can have for someone. The disciples were amazed. Jesus would give up everything for them? This is my commandment. Love each other like I love you, Jesus said. Jesus always loves us, no matter what, the disciples thought. Jesus is willing to give up his life for us. How can we love each other like that? Jesus smiled at his friends. Love each other. Be joyful. Go and grow fruit. Go and love others so that they know God's love. Wow, what a cool story that we're supposed to love one another as Jesus loves us. Do you think we can love somebody as much as Jesus has loved us? I bet it'd be pretty hard, but I bet we could try really hard. What are some ways that you think we could love others the way that Jesus loves us? I think about how I show love to people I care about. I give them hugs. I tell them I love them. I help them when they need help. And I care for them when they're hurt or when they're sick. So we can love others just like that, right? Jesus loves us and he cares for us. And he taught us all different kinds of ways to love one another. And that's what this story is. It, it, it is Jesus teaching the disciples. So if uh, Jesus is the vine and we are the branches, what happens if the branch falls off? It dies, right? So if we stay connected to Jesus, we stay connected. And if he's the vine and we're the branches, then we will bear much fruit. So as long as we are in relationship with God and we love others, then we will bear fruit, right? It's like a big game of tag. You get love so that you can pass it on. Once you get tagged and you're it, you try to go tag somebody else. So we are trying, it's like tag, right? Jesus loves us. And so we love other people just like tag. And loving others like Jesus loves us is not easy, you know? It can be really hard because that's a big, big, big love. If loving others was a sport, Jesus would definitely have been in the Hall of Fame of it too, right? Because Jesus loved us as much as it was possible, as much as it is possible to love. So our challenge this week is to love others the way that Christ has loved us, which is big. So we can do it. 
because it's it, it can be easy to love show our love to others, right? Maybe it's by giving a high five to a friend or helping your mom unload the dishwasher or helping your dad um, do the laundry. There are lots of different ways we can show love. It's just important we remember to show it, right? And remember, God loves us, so we tag, God tags us, and now we are going to go tag others with God's love. All right, friends, that's our story. Till next time, see ya.